Okay, so this is gonna be a challenge to say the least. So Cole, my opponent, is playing at University of Wisconsin Whitewater. And if it wasn't for the NCAA not having a season, given the current global situation right now, he would have been playing number one or number two singles. If he's playing the top two slots in a nationally ranked team like the Whitewater men's team, that puts him automatically at the 5-5 five, five rating, Come on! which is pretty nuts. Put it this way, the script is saying I'm not supposed to win this match. Let's find out. All right, zero, zero. It's a really fast indoor hard court. So if Cole is like a big hitter, it makes it real tough uh, on this court surface. First serve. Tentative. Come on. I'm really excited for this match. This is going to be a great matchup. I'm a little tight in front of the cameras, but here we go. Good. Serve. Nope. I didn't break the logo, did I? No. You break it, you buy it. That's to be expected. Um, my good takeaway from that is on the love fi the 15 love point, he kind of showed me that he's not willing to take that much risk to approach on a short, awkward shot that's landing a little bit past the service line. So I've got to expose that a little bit. But as for the other points, I just got outclassed. Got to keep it in play, be aggressive so I don't get bullied around. Now we got to hold. All right, so I won that game at love. Still, still feeling a little tight. Just got to get into the rhythm of the match right now. Really interesting. Cole hits a flatter ball than I was expecting. Uh, just watching it travel across the, the net here. Uh, Mark definitely hits with more topspin, at least so far. But I know Cole's definitely tight, so maybe that could be playing into it. As he loosens up, maybe he'll he'll start rolling the ball a little bit more. It'll be interesting to see. Good serve. Thanks. Of course, we all know the real question, though, is what fast food did Mark eat today? I feel like Mark is, he like, he's really coming to play. He's super pumped up right now. He loves this court. He loves this environment with all the cameras, which is a big advantage for him. Great changes of spin and pace and height back and forth all layered inside of like oh, just a lot of offense and intensity. Just really, really enjoyable to watch. If you've enjoyed watching it too, do me a favor and click that, that like button. It helps these videos a lot. It helps more players and fans of tennis see this content. Thank you so much for your support. There we go. Off pace change ups. Get him out of his rhythm. Yep. Nope. 
those are the areas that Mark has to be really careful of, where I feel like his intensity is really high and he's kind of juicing it up and trying to really go toe to toe with Cole. Oh, yeah, that's a disgusting serve. Thanks. Got him with the kick there. Might try it again here. Right idea just to execute there. For a young guy, I'm just, I'm getting the sense that Cole is just like a really high IQ like tennis player. I'm, I'm really enjoying watching him hit a lot. Surf. You guys saw those uh, that first that first serve he did on the very first point, and then that very last serve. That is the biggest difference between someone that's a high four five slash low five zero and someone of his caliber. I'm running out of time, even though it's only one, two right now. The last thing I want to do is be in a tie break with someone that's of his uh, fitness level and his uh, caliber. So got to find a break soon. All right, I'm serving well, which I'm happy about. Now what I'm going to try to do is dig into a return game here, try to get him a little nervous on his service games and hopefully we'll get a break early in the set. Really interesting matchup here. Got Mark with like his intensity is going up, for probably you know close to his max intensity, and trying to like find a way to pressure Cole. Cole to me looks like real level, like very steady and stable. It's it's gonna kind of come down to Mark here, I, I think. Time to shake off the stage fright. Here we go. I'm ready to go. It's gonna break. Nope. It's a big opportunity here for Cole. That's why you hustle, boys and girls. That's why you just always do the best you can. One more ball back, one more ball back. It's a tough ball. It's hit. On that ball, I was just trying to give him something unusual when I came up. This is in a defensive position. Worked out for me there. Yep, that's what happens. Stupid shots. I so don't envy Mark's position right now. Cole, like his demeanor, his his game, his game style is just so rock solid. Like it just kind of add, it makes you feel pressure just looking across the net from him. Just deep. Yep. Nice point, guys. Thanks. That's too good. Serve. Stuck oh, it in the ceiling. Oh, no. <laughs> I've never seen that. <laughs> That's a let, right? No. Yeah. Taking it. New balls. New balls. I'm going to blame that on the new balls. <laughs> All jokes aside, um, this is exactly where I don't want to be, where I'm down a break, uh, even though it's only one break but that emotional um, damage of my spirit basically being broken because yeah, one break, but one forward, that's a big differential. So I played a very loose game on my service game. He bullied me around a little bit. He, he had one lucky shot with that miss hit approach shot on his forehand, I think, but I just gotta have a short term memory and look past it and keep moving on to the next one. It's exactly what I said I was doing and I did it, nice. All right, so I'm serving well. I got that break I was looking for. These next couple of games, I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing. I'm gonna try to keep him deep, make him um, try to go for too much, and he'll start making more mistakes as he's starting to press. And yeah, I'll just keep, 
capitalizing on my offensive opportunities and hopefully I'll close out this set. I think Cole's starting to loosen up a little bit. That was some, he's just sending it right back at Mark now. Nope. Nope. I would just hate to play Cole. <laughs> nope. There goes one racket. He broke a string. He only brought three rackets, just two more of those, and I have a chance. Back. Wow, he missed. He actually missed. He can't hurt me off the backhand side. Wide. 30 40. Nope. Come Here we on. go. All right. Mark's starting to put together a little, little hint of momentum here. Good lob. Good ball. Thanks. All right, come on. Take this game back. Let's go. Nope. Wow. Right. So Mark found a little bit of chink in the armor there in the in that game. A couple of errors from Cole. Really, really the first ones. I feel like Cole's kind of loosening up and he's starting to maybe put a little more umph, you know, behind his swings. Nice job for Mark uh, recovering in that game. It's nope. too close. Get away from that ball. Wide. There we go. Ooh. Nice defense for Cole. Great point, good guys. Point. Great point. Me too. That's some good tennis right there. That that turnaround, soft, like kind of dump shot from Cole after the lob. That's a, that's such a high IQ tennis shot to not turn around and smash it or like try the tweener or even like lob, but to softly just drop it over the top of the net after sprinting all the way back. That's a tough ball. Nope. That's such a choke. Move your feet into the shot. Ah. Uh. Yes! Stop trying to make the highlight reel. I planted that seat in the back of his head that I'm not going away. 
this is the fun part of tennis, both as a tennis player and as a coach, that you're able to basically pull an inception and really plant a very negative and disturbing thought in their head, even if they're up. And one or two loose points, I'm back on serve. And now, I know he's pissed. This is where I make my opening, get to the finish line. 